Darrow comes out firing. There's Corey Davis. There's one man to beat. Davis will step out of bounds around the marker if the official catch radius. You put him in front of the, a double garage door and just try to throw it past him. I don't think you can. Now they're going to do pretty much the same play on the other side, caught by Michael and Henry, but a good tap. Another play action fake to Franklin. Terrell wants it all hit as he throws, and the defender had a better chance at that ball. 252 per game. And they're not going to here. Terrell's got a pocket. Now it's collapsing. He guns, and it's a little high and incomplete. Mike should correct that. Nebraska is now number 10. And they're not going to do it. They're going to continue to pitch it. And this is going to work rather well. Very close to the marker goes Henry with another. Empty set. Pressure comes. Catch is made. Immediate hit. Oh, and bouncing off of that hit. That's going to end up being a three yard pickup by Franklin. He is in right there at 5 foot 11, 220. Ryan tries to bring it on Jarvie and Franklin, who's 6 foot 228. And Franklin just mans him, just pushes him off. Western Michigan has yet to hand one off. There's a good catch made. And a first down for the Broncos. Carrington double it. They, they, they do it more than anyone I've seen on film. There's the handoff. Franklin will pop through. He'll get to midfield. A gain of four. Six, excuse me. Again. And then sometimes they'll mix tempo in. And they go quickly here. Terrell throws. A catch out. Flag is down. That is Henry again. He breaks down the sideline. There's another flag way back at the 31-yard line. Now, this flag was dropped the second the pass was caught. Now Bogan, and he's in that pile somewhere. He'll get about four yards, three yards to the 31. Same time. Bogan's a little injured now. And well, he is not looking un uh, injured there, no. though, as he gets to that second level and gets the first down to 23. Four games. It's been Jamar, uh, excuse me, Jarvion Franklin. Franklin again. Franklin, Goodbye. forget it. He's in. Touchdown, Broncos. Boy, that was well blocked. And again, that first guy is almost never going to get Franklin. So Western Michigan. Harvey on Franklin just gutted him with it. See that blitz that comes in? It was really well blocked, especially by Chooks. Okora. Harvey on Franklin is back in a tailback. Number 31 for WMU. Fake to him. Terrell going to take it. Oh, his receiver's wide open. Corey Davis. He'll make the catch. This is an easy six for Western Michigan. Understand, but get points. Terrell with a fake. He wants another long shot. Davis oh is open again. He got behind the defense. He'll make the no. He won't make the catch. It is incomplete. The pass hung up just a tie. Straight ahead. Not much for Franklin. So third and long coming up. Terrell's got a lot of time. Caught by Ernstberger, the tight end, but he'll be brought down short of the first down. He fought for an additional couple of yards. That's just his third. And Franklin is the tailback for the Broncos. He'll get it, and he'll get nowhere. Middle of that Ball State defense. Second. Slant pattern, Corey Davis. That's a famous move of he will go in the opposite direction of where you think he's going, and he'll pick up 11. Play action to Franklin. Over the middle, there's Davis. He's open, and he'll get hit twice, but he falls forward to the 44-yard line again. Seven. To pull the football and find his man Davis breaking over the middle. And Western Michigan comes out quickly, and they'll throw another little tunnel screen. This is Dwayne Eskridge, and Eskridge stepped out of bounds, I think, at the 36-yard line. We'll see if the official agrees. To the catch. Same play, other side, dropped. Third and two coming up. They had it set up beautifully. And run up right behind 85, Donnie Ernstberger. They're going to do a long handoff instead. This is going to work, too, for Western Michigan. Michael Henry will get a first down as he falls at the 31 years WMU team to look forward to for next year. They've had the top-rated recruiting class in the MAC since P.J. Fleck got there. Terrell going for Davis, who flashed open, making... Did he hang on to that? Is that a catch? It is. Oh, man, he's done it again. Another highlight catch by Corbin Zone. But this one is right up there with him. And uh, not the greatest deep throw by Zach Terrell, but effective enough. And <laughs> now WMU has two timeouts. 
And Terrell wants to go for it all. And where is he going to go? To Davis. Davis turns, and he can't hang on. He had coverage that time provided by Davis. Now, let's see if Western decides to go on the ground here with Franklin. And they do, and Franklin is dragged down at the 15-yard line. That was a persistent tap. 158, by the way. They put eight seconds additionally on the clock when we went to break. Terrell in trouble, felt the pressure, hit as he throws, and that's going to be incomplete. And then maybe I get aggressive. Nope, play action. Terrell scrambling. Got him. Oh, he does have him. Davis coming across, can't get there. The pass was just overthrown. I saw what you saw at the end when you said got us on first down. That's the best time to do it. Now they're going to try again. Terrell in trouble. He's got some room if he wants to run. Instead, he's going to throw. That's a long and difficult throw. The Terrell pass man. made there goes the Gatorade table. <laughs> he's route from that number three position in trips. Pressure. Look out. Terrell got hit as he throws, and he threw behind Thompson, but he didn't. 39 seconds remaining. That's Winbush again rushing the edge from the top, and they also blitzed, so there was a lot. Picks were uh, <clears throat> against the rules. Yeah, the rubs, he kind of corrected <laughs> it a little bit. Terrell pumps once, Davis gets open. He gets inside Ball State territory, 25. Oh, he hey. makes a great move. That's unbelievable. That's Corey Davis. That's his third touchdown of the night. Six. Now with three touchdown passes all to Davis as this combination continues to light up college football. Watch how this throw leads Corey Davis across the field and away from the defender. See how he flattened him out there a little bit? And then, of course, after that, it's Davis doing what Davis did. 23 passes and ran the ball only seven times. I expect him to throw here, and they do. And uh, that could be a safety. No, he's going to be marked short. Yeah, he caught it at the one. The and one got yard line. And then I imagine that college will adopt that in the name of player safety here before too long. Terrell throws. There's Davis. There's your safety valve. And there's that Davis spin move. He has the Ball State defenders unable to find weapon as he goes over to watch this little fake drop step he does with his right foot and that is what really sells the defender to come back inside and then he works it back outside he's a magician it could actually be well it could be window dressing or it could be a changed play it'll be a handoff and Franklin busts through and he'll get outside the 4 and 30 to the 38 yard homing now who has the lead in that division out in the Mountain West so that's coach of the year stuff that Craig Bowl has done at Wyoming this year wide open top of the field is Michael Henry Henry makes the move gets to the 35 and bumps shoulders and is down at the 32 yard line green or fake quick screen and both defenders went with the guy who went deep nobody stayed down home you saw the the pump fake so there was nobody left he had a career high 398 yards last week against Eastern Michigan. Back to the ground. Franklin bouncing off defenders, breaking a tackle and getting to the 23 yard line. On the safety last week. Jamari Bogan is the tailback, and he will get the handoff and get wrestled down to the 19 yard line after. And no love is lost between them. And I think that's just a little high, but of course, that's numbers. Bogan tripped up, fell from the 15 to the 14 yard line. Leading runner in his own right. He'll get it. Nice oh, look cut. at that step. Look at this step. He'll get to the five and a first down. I thought for a second he had a chance in a Mac game against NIU. First and goal, Broncos. Martez Hester back in the ball game after sitting out the first half because of a targeting and running backs. So from the five, could be a fade here. You never know. Instead, they're going to hand off Franklin, battering his way to the, we're going to say the one yard line. Well, it's a game that's in progress that can't be easy for your mental approach as the Broncos go on the ground. Franklin trying to get into the end zone. Did he do it? Yes, he did. The official the top of your balls. Uh, the kid is the best quarterback in the MAC, no doubt in my mind. And that, that Cooper Rush ain't too bad either up at Central. No, Cooper's having a great year in Central Michigan. Meantime, Corey Davis just continues to gash. He had you see them messing up the timing of the blitz with those signals and cutting away from it is Franklin. Franklin has the first down and he's tripped up at the 30 yard line. That's going to be a game. One thing he's not doing is a problem that put him on the bench last year, which is fumbling the football. This is Davis again, and he'll stutter step to the 36, fall forward, maybe to the 37 yard. Reggie Wayne had a fabulous career with the Colts, and there's no reason to think that Davis won't be successful in the NFL. Franklin running in traffic. Did he get the first down? He's right about now. Five to snap. There again, that tunnel. 
And that's working very well. This is Henry, and he'll get outside the 45 and pick up six. He'd like to do, interestingly enough, uh, Kurt Shiraka, the offensive coordinator, said he really doesn't care. It's the, a stat, a time of possession that he does Here was, was nothing. I think they're going to go with the play they had initially. They waited to one second on the clock. Franklin will just wrestle through arm Franklin tackles to get the first down of the sideline. No, no question. America needs Quint this time of the year. Terrell in some trouble. He's got some room to work with. He's going to throw it away. Cognizant of Jerome Purcell back in the, those days. And you also had heard of him. That too. Franklin. Just oh, not man. giving up. My goodness, what a run by Franklin. And that's eight yards. Stops those legs. And that's the key. He's so strong in the upper body, too. But watch the legs. They just never go dead. They never quit. And he's able to spin. Tenth play of the drive coming up. One more time. He's in there. Look at that. With a little help from ESPN. Terrell. Caught. And that's going to be the 21-22 yard line. Catch made a course. Not enough people have seen him play yet, but they will as the season wears on. And he, he ain't no slouch. Well, that's not our fault. <laughs> you know, that's thing. A, Washington just beat a good Utah team. That wasn't exactly a slob loss. Terrell's going to throw. It's going to be Davis again. Oh, my goodness. Look at that move by Davis. He's going to be caught in the 12-yard line. He picked up an additional three yards. Not on this play. Franklin spinning. And he gets... Franklin to the five. This drive's taken over nine minutes. Going back to Quinn. straight minutes, and they never take it down off. Looking for Davis. There's the fade. He'll catch it, but he's out of bounds. Joe Flacco, but his brother Mike played in the MLB and in the NFL. And Davis, now there it is. There is the record, record for one of a dozen finalists. And we congratulate him for that. That's an incredible achievement. In the meantime, Western Michigan takes off. Look at Flacco. he got some speed. He'll get tripped up inside the puck down to the three-yard line. Ooh, big collision right at the goal line, and Fabian wants it. High snap. Nothing now. Flacco does keep it. He spins left, and he's going to be stopped short. One more time. And bouncing off and getting into the end zone is Fabian Johnson.